Hi, everybody. Just waiting for everything to load. Happy Monday. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I did. We had a crazy busy weekend, but it was fun. As you pop on, tell me what you're working on. I love to hear what everybody's got going on. If you're watching this on a replay, leave it in the comments. Let me know you're watching on replay. Um, it's always interesting to me to see when people are seeing this, if it's later this evening, tomorrow, next week. I like to know. Happy Monday, Mary, mom. Hi, Chris. Hi, Sherry. Julie, one more row for my sister's meld cowl than working on hats. Awesome. Mary working on Mrs. Weasley's mitts. Hi, Tammy. Again, if you're just jumping on, uh, tell me what you're working on. If it's something fun. Linda, Cindy, Stacy, trying to make some mittens. E is working on lengthening a sweater. She decided that one of her ranunculuses is too cropped, so she's making it longer. Nicole saw someone post they're only 19 days until Christmas. Oh, I know, that's crazy. Um, we have a really good stash of um, Malabrigo Rasta here in the store, and that's fantastic for quick projects. There's a pattern called Really Quick Mitts. Um, there are tons of really cute hat patterns out there that use one stain of Rasta. That stuff is bulky, it goes fast, um, and it looks really cool too. So it doesn't look like a last minute, just, you know, whipped it out sort of thing. Hi, Diane, Terry, working on fingerless mitts. Debbie, working on a Santa hat. Linda, working on seventh cowl for gifts this year. That is a lot. Lots of people working on gloves and fingerless mitts. Oh, good, 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 good. Diane working on a scarf. Lisa, Joyce. Okay, so I did jump on a couple minutes later than usual, so I will go ahead and get started. Welcome to Monday Motivation. My name is Kristen. I'm the owner of The Little Yarn Shop in downtown Saginaw, Michigan. Inside the SVRC Marketplace, um, hours are Wednesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Lots of really cool businesses in here. Um, Big O's Burgers and Barbecue opened his second location um, last week or the week before it was kind of his soft opening, but he's got his huge smoker outside. And oh, I love every day when I come in and they're working on, they're smoking, I don't know, some sort of meat out there. It smells fantastic. I love that smell. Tammy, the color looks great tonight, good. <laughs> <laughs> After last week, my husband told me that the picture looked a little blurry, so I'm hoping, hoping things are a little better, although I didn't think to clean the screen on the phone, but someday I'll get professional and get like an actual webcam, <laughs> but yeah, this works for now. Um, Melissa's working on the other half of her scarf. I don't know uh, if you saw on What You Make It Wednesday, Melissa posted a photo of this scarf that she's making. It's, I think she posted it on there. I know she sent me pictures and we've been talking about it, but it's a really, really cool design. So today's Monday, December 6th. My daughter's birthday is officially in three days. This Thursday, she turns 16. We had the first of her birthday parties this past Saturday. We have another one coming up this coming Sunday. Uh, she was complaining a little bit that it's snowing right now, but it's supposed to warm up for like the next seven to 10 days. And she thinks it's not fair that they won't have at least one snow day before, um, before the Christmas break. <laughs> Mom says, Jackie's on here. Hi, Aunt Jackie. Melissa, I think I did. I know it was on your Instagram. You tagged your shop. Yeah, I think I saw it on there. I think somebody else commented on it too. Joyce working on market bag number three. Awesome. 
So uh, let's get into knit. I am wearing, I know you can't see a whole lot of it. I am wearing a, what does she call it? Circular shawl called Magical Thinking. I think I've worn um, the All Points South. Um, so two patterns, both by um, Casa Pinka. Knit in the round, it wears like, it wears like a shawl, like a regular triangular shawl would wear. Either pulled down or scrunched up. The difference is it's connected. So I don't have the tails to wrap around. If you knit it loosely enough, or if you're narrow shouldered enough, it is fun to be able to kind of just pull it down. Um, the, the All Point South, which is it's up there, there it is, in the oranges and pinks. Um, she called it, that was the first of the not a poncho poncho because her daughter said ponchos weren't cool. So she had to call it something else. And then, you know, transitioned into the non-show and all kinds of stuff from there. But um, I, I love these shawls when people um, come into the shop and they see colors they really like and they say, okay, well, what could I do with three stains? These shawls, cowl, shawl, poncho, tend to be what we talk about a lot. It's easy to wear. It's easy to work on. Um, I love that it's knit in the round because I don't have as much purling to do. Uh, her patterns like this, I like because um, kind of like the mystery knit along that she did, that was that long rectangular one. Um, her pattern designs change quickly, so you don't get bored with it. So this one, even though it is the same shape as the All Point South, they have different textures in them. So that's kind of cool. I was playing around with some of the new yarn that I got and I fell in love with this. Look at that combination. These are the sparkle ones. Can you see the sparkle? Yeah, a little bit of sparkle. So I finally got my big, huge box of yarn from Brie Ridiculous. Actually, I think I might have gotten two. But I just, I, I tried this time. Sorry, you guys, stuff is popping up on my, on my computer. Um, I tried to be really intentional with what I ordered this time from her. So I have the same colorway in multiple bases. So the base yarn would be whether it's fingering, whether it has sparkle or doesn't have sparkle or it's DK. So an example would be surf fishing. This is one of the most popular colors. I love that it's pretty neutral, but it's got still some color in it. So here is surf fishing on Abby Socks, which is her 75% superwash merino, 10, 25% nylon. Surf fishing. That's on her standard sock base. Then I got it on the sparkle. Can I see the sparkle? I, I like that her sparkle is very, very subtle. You don't, you don't get that in your face. It's not scratchy at all. Then I got it on the new Cloud Nine. You see that little bit of fuzz in there? Oh, it's so lovely. So Cloud Nine is the base that I've been talking about that is 70% baby alpaca, 20% silk, 10% cashmere. It's, it's lush. So lush, in fact, that I decided I would bring in the DK version of the same thing. So baby alpaca, silk, and cashmere in a DK weight. So this has 246 yards. So all the same color on four different bases, which is really, I just think it's kind of fun to see the difference, but you can also see 
that her colors are fairly consistent and the way she dies is fairly consistent between them all. But I digress. So um, what I'm wearing is magical thinking and a lot of the yarns that I show, I like I said, I do have in sparkle, not sparkle, quite a few of them in the cloud nine, which is the, the fingering weight, really soft stuff. But I just like these three with the sparkle in there, they would be beautiful with or without sparkle. So this is Wicked, Fusion and Night Bay. I don't think I've had any of these colors before. I tried to, I tried to go outside my comfort zone a little bit. Normally, I get a lot of stuff like this. Butterfly effect, which started leaving the shop before I even had it out on the shelves. Galaxy is one of the more popular ones. Oh, I did get a couple um, semi solids on Sparkle that are just gorgeous. So this is blush. Look at the sparkle in that. I love it. Hi, Cora. Tammy, what other colors do I have in Cloud Nine? I pulled them. So I've got the night bay that I, or, nope, sorry. I've got the surf fishing, which is kind of the grays, a little bit of a gold in there. This, in terms of how it looks knit up, I don't have a lot here, but this is surf fishing on the DK weight. So you can see it's mostly white. It's got little specks of that, kind of the blue gray and the, um, the rust color in there. I, of course, got the color I did my scarf in. So this is the steel shawl wrap. I don't remember what it's called. So this color is Chesapeake Sunset. I got that. This batch is, the blue in this batch is a little bit brighter, but it's still gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's what this is, the Chesapeake Sunset. I got that gorgeous blush color. So one skein would be enough to make that the steel shawl. Melissa just um, posted a link to the pattern, but um, because it uses big needles, the yarn is alpaca silk and cashmere. So it's got this great drape to it. And it's a pretty good size for, for a one skein project. They are $38.99 a piece. So I tried to find some projects that um, that will really show it off. Galaxy. Purples, pinks, blues. This gray down in here. I, they're just, you can't go wrong with these. One of her newer colors I hadn't gotten before. I did pick up a skein of it when I was um, on the other side of the state, not in a yarn that I carry, but in the color sweatpants and cardigans. This is so cool, this color. It's got really deep navy, some kind of uh, peachy pinks, some lighter blues, some mauves, purples, yellows, which if I told you guys I had a yarn with all of that, it doesn't really sound like it would be something appealing, but it's just, it's, it's beautiful. So that is sweatpants and cardigans. This I got in all three fingering weight bases. So I have this in the cloud nine, the alpaca, I have it in the sparkle and I have it in the sock base. Um, how many left? Three left. Beach sand. Just this really beautiful 
it's it's darker than a winter white. It's it's like the white sand Mexico beaches. I is more what I think about than like actual Michigan beaches. <laughs> of course, she's not a Michigan girl, so maybe her beaches are a little bit different. Crystallize. blues, all different shades of blue. There is a little bit of green, but it's it's much more blue than, than the Wicked. So Wicked, this is the sparkle, but you can see the Wicked's got a lot more green in there. This is pretty much all blues. And there it is in the sparkle base. And lastly, this is a new one for the shop too, seductive. Look at that, the grape colors, kind of a, a deep burgundy, the pinks. So pretty seductive. Diane's wet pantsing tart again and blush. They are, they are just all, they're absolutely beautiful and, and the way they feel. Ah, so this would be um, a case where I would say if you are a loose knitter, I would not knit with metal needles with a yarn like this because of the softness of it. Um, I, I run into this problem that if I have a really soft yarn and I'm knitting with metal needles, if I drop it, everything slides right off. And <laughs> the other part of soft yarn is your stitches don't quite tend to stay in place as well as they would if it was a yarn with a little bit more of a tooth to it. So beach sand, we'll kind of, I'll kind of show them one more time. There's beach sand, crystallize. And because I try and get so many colors in, I don't order a lot of each one. So I have it on a lot of bases, but like I only have three of each of these if, if some of them have, have sold one or two. So I don't have three of everything, but I only get them in batches of three. That's what pants and cardigan. If there's a color you see that you want in any of the bases, Go ahead and put a note in the comments. Um, let us know the color, the quantity, whether you want it shipped or um, you're gonna pick it up in the shop and we can handle the rest for you. Surf fishing, seductive, blush. If I get closer, it gets a little bit more accurate. Galaxy. I love how they look even on my on my screen. There, I need a job that pays more and requires less hours of my life so I can knit all the things. <laughs> Julie, beach sand in sparkle. Yes, I do have beach sand in sparkle. In fact, how good a segue is that? I have beach sand in the DK version. It's called Ruby DK, the alpaca silk cashmere. I also found out she has a Sparkle DK weight yarn. So uh, this is called Hannah Sparkle DK. 75% um, Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, 5% Stellina. 231 yards in 100 gram stain. So that's the beach sand in the DK weight. So you can see a little bit of the difference between the fingering weight and the DK weight. But they're both beautiful. Look at that. It's just a little bit of the lights and darks in both of them. And of course, Chesapeake Sunset. I did order um, a bit more of that because that's what I knit my sample in. And a lot of people tend to like that. Um, so the sparkle base is the same content for the DK and the fingering. So 75% superwash, 20% nylon, 5% Stellina. 
that makes it easy to remember too. Diane, how can I decide? <laughs> um, it's difficult. I, I really, I really tried to be intentional this time with what I ordered. Um, again, in making sure that I could order the same color in multiple bases so you can really see kind of the variety of things, but she can really do, um, she can dye any of her colors on any of her bases because she dyes to order. I'm not ordering from whatever she has on the shelves. She's dyeing it after I place my order. Diane, yes, I do have a Chesapeake sunset for you. So some of the colors that I did not get in um, any, either the DK or the Alpaca Cloud9 base, but I got Sparkle and Non-Sparkle are Summer Shandy. So these are fingering weight. This is the Sparkle, but she has, I have both the Sparkle and not Sparkle version. It's just so, well, summery, just light, peachy. Um, oh, well, here's the sweatpants and cardigan in Sparkle also. More than one skein sometimes gives you a, a different look of how the different yarns take the color. Oh, peace of mind. This is another fairly new color. It's a, it's a color we haven't carried before and it's P-A-C-E, -E, like peace, peace of mind. Arctic Bliss. This is similar to Galaxy, but different in that. Let me find the Galaxy. My piles everywhere, you guys. Okay. So Galaxy has a little bit of a brighter pink. Arctic Bliss is a little bit deeper in color. It actually shows up better on the screen for you guys than it does for me. So Arctic Bliss, a little bit deeper. Galaxy. A little bit lighter. Put that blue, look at the blue down in there. Um, sweater weather. This is um, one of the more popular ones. I do have a shawl knit up with this, but of course it's, I, I'm trying to hang up a bunch of shawls all across the wall over the doorway. Um, which looks really cool, but that means I can't just grab one to show you what a color looks like. Um, night moves. This one I've got in a one stain cowl. Somewhere. <laughs> Somebody keeps moving everything around. That would be me. I keep moving everything around. And oh my golds. Woodsy. This is another one that I haven't gotten before. This is great for my orange lovers. Look at that with this deep rust color, brighter orange, gold, speckles of black. It's really, really dark. I don't even know what I would call that old school rusty car <laughs> in the best way possible, which I think would look really good with honeycomb. I've gotten that before. Honeycomb is just a little bit lighter. Again, more golds. That was the other thing I tried to do. I tried to be intentional about getting colors that coordinated well, like, like these. Look at that. Ah. Beautiful. Chandra, do I have butterfly effect on the fingering sparkle? Yes, I do. Yes, there she is. We've got that, definitely. Julie, then purple sage for beads to match. <laughs> 
Yes, Julie did. I wonder if I can do this without knocking too much off. Uh, no, can you see it? There it is. You can't really see it very well, but up there in the corner, Julie did this beautiful shawl called the Powder Wrap by Casapinka. It's just a one stain. Um, she did it with a sparkle. It would look, I mean, it would look gorgeous in any color, but this beach sand and the sparkle would be beautiful. Um, then it's got crystal beads in there. Uh, I think that's, oh, I got more Winifred. Lisa was the prompt for this color initially in the order. And it's one that I used in my um, snarkle meter, the last Casapinka knit, but it's called, oh, look, another glorious morning makes me sick. Winifred. It knits up so cool. I was a little bit afraid of what it would look like because of all the different colors in there. Um, but it's, it's gorgeous. She actually is making her husband some socks out of that. Not the sparkle though. And then a muck, a muck, a muck. Sarah is another one. Sarah, did you know you have a yarn named after you? <laughs> Diane, are you asking Chandra or me? Diane says, what are you gonna make with the butterfly effect? I wanna make all the things with all the yarn. You guys know that. So in Sparkle PK, I only got a few, and I only got a few in the um, Ruby DK, which is the alpaca blend. But in Sparkle DK, I got Galaxy. Again, 231 yards, Merino Nylon Stellina. I did get Butterfly Effect in the DK Sparkle base. So in terms of what would a good project be? Here's blush, DK Sparkle again. Um, I pulled a couple patterns. One, uh, for a one skein project, there's a hat and fingerless knit pattern called Warm Embrace by Jen Chapman, who is a Michigan girl. Um, would be perfect for one skein of the alpaca silk cashmere or the sparkle, either one. Oh, and the last color is indigo. I don't know why I didn't get this one in fingering this time. I only got this in DK because that was a popular one. But I did start a project for the DK weight. I'm trying to keep all the names straight. Ruby is the alpaca silk cashmere. I showed a little bit before, of course, because it's on a long cable, I've got it all tangled up because I keep moving things around, so. I am working on what Tammy is the fingering version of the powder wrap, a one stain project. Yes, at least that's how Julie did it. Julie did it as just a one stain project. So I am working with the DK surf fishing for, and I'm working on, Melissa just posted it, Lady Mary's Comfort Wrap. It's a really cool shape. The, <laughs> the one upside and or downside, depending on what, um, how you like to knit things, is that you do cast on a whole bunch of stitches. So you cast on two, I don't know, I think like 200 stitches. And then it grows from there, but it makes for a shawl that it has a really unique shape. So it was initially um, published through Jimmy Beans as a mystery knit along back in 2014, but there are a lot of projects now for it. So there's kind of, you can get an idea of that it's not that deep, but it's nice and long. This is kind of odd the way that she's got it wrapped, but it still gives a good idea of how long it is, how much yardage you get, how much wear you would get out of something like this. It would be um, great as like a regular over the shoulder wrap. Oops, sorry. As a scarf under things. 
that the Lady Mary's Comfort Wrap takes three skeins of the of DK weight yarn. It actually calls it. It has two sizes. Julie, it looks like you used 500 yards, but you could do less cable at the bottom. Okay, so I might have been wrong on Julie's powder wrap. It looks like she might have used two skeins. This comfort wrap uh, calls for two skeins or 550 yards of a DK weight yarn. The yarn they used had more yardage per skein. And it has two sizes, a large size, which <laughs> is 61.5 inches at the shorter end and 125 inches on the outer end. So <laughs> it might not be the most fun to bind off. I think Stephen West bind off, but the look is going to be beautiful. So I'm making the larger one. It also calls for um, offers two different sets of directions. There is a beginner pattern that keeps more like um, seed stitch, easy mesh, lace, garter stitch, stock knot, a little bit of, she calls it reverse angle mesh lace, but that's where you're doing the SSKs instead of knit two togethers. It just makes it go a different direction. Um, then some edging. I kind of like that she doesn't tell you in total how many stitches you should have. She just tells you between each marker, you should have 78 stitches at the bottom. Um, the intermediate pattern has more of um, like moss slip stitch, rib lace, just more technique to it. I am doing the, um, the beginner version. Um, people that like more complicated knits can usually visualize what it would look like with a more complicated stitch pattern. So that's the, one of the things I'm working on is my Lady Mary's wrap. My excuse for starting that the other day here was um, I couldn't work on my husband's sweater because I was stuck. I couldn't work on my daughter's sweater because I don't remember why. Oh, I thought I left it at home. As it turns out now, I have to rip out half of my husband's sweater, but he now knows about it. So I can actually try it on him as we go and make sure that the sleeves aren't going to be three inches too short. <laughs> and of course, this one, the one that I found is knit side to side. So I can't just pick up and knit or continue a longer cuff. I have to, um, yeah, rip out and, and do some math. But for Victoria, I am working on the Elm Street hoodie. I had the printed pattern here, so you can see a little bit better up close. The, the pattern, the photos are hilarious. It was, um, I think I mentioned last week, inspired by uh, a sweater, a crop sweater that Johnny Depp wears in the initial um, Nightmare on Elm Street. So it's a hoodie, it's a cropped hoodie. It's just like, I love it. Look, his, his torn jeans and everything. So because I can never figure out what color Victoria's hair is gonna be next, what color she likes and doesn't like for a while, she liked pink and then she didn't like pink and she liked teal. Now she doesn't like teal. I don't know. So I have been making some pretty good progress on her sweater. So it starts at the bottom with um, a folded hem. So you do um, a provisional cast on, knit a bunch, fold it over, knit a bunch more, and then pick up and knit the two together. But it's black. It's hard to kind of see that it's actually black, but black and white and gray. I was working on it this weekend and I ran into a little bit of a problem, which is I picked up for the sleeves and got a little ways and realized the size five circular needle that I had at home was too big once my decreases started. 
Um, I only had a 16 inch and I needed something smaller. So I got to a certain point on one sleeve, then decided, well, since I can't knit anymore, use my um, pearl strings as a holder. So I put these sleeves on the pearl strings as a holder. You can see the purple there. And then I knit as much as I could on the other sleeve until I kind of, I got bored with that and started something else. But the other reason was I didn't have my shorties at home. Tammy says, wait, we need excuses for new projects. No, <laughs> I just try and make some up sometimes. <laughs> um, so my favorite way to do sleeves is with the twist shorties. It's a chow goo and I had to dig through like eight bags. I, I know most of you understand this. I had to dig through like eight bags before I could find my set. But so they're by Chow Yu, and there are two sets. There's the red set and the blue set. They just came out with these, well, not just, two years ago. They came out with the first set, which is the red, and that is sizes zero to three. Then they came out with the blue set that sizes four to eight. So what are they? The shorties have both two inch and three inch tips and will make a circumference anywhere from nine inch up to 14 inch circulars. So it comes with this little case, cute little case. And I really hope my fives are in here. I didn't even look yet. But I love these for sleeves. It just makes things so smooth. I, I don't have to worry about um, magic loop in terms of turn, pull one, push one, or two sets of certs, or um, double points. I am not a big fan of double points. So two inch tips and three inch tips for each size. So um, fours through eights. Maybe at some point they'll come out with a larger size, like nines through thirteens or something. They should, because these, these are fantastic. The cords that come with them, the cords that come with the red ones are like the sock cords, very, very thin. The cords that come with the blue ones are like the typical small chow goo cords. So because it comes with three cords and two sets of lengths, I will tend to put both leaves on um, needles at the same time. And I do like to have more to hang on to. So I will start like with this. If I'm going from a 16 inch circumference, I'll probably slowly taper down. So I would start with 14 total, which would be the longest cord plus the three inch tips. So an eight inch cord plus the three inch tips gives me the 14 inches. And then as my stitches decrease, I can make one of my needles the two inch instead of the three inch. That helps a little bit. Um, but because I have the, the longs and the shorts, I, they're just really, really versatile. With one of these sets, you could actually get away with making um, your own sort of flexi flips. Um, lots, lots of ideas. If you're doing things in the round, especially, I love having... Um, the needle on my left side smaller, my, I call it the feed needle smaller. And then, you know, so if I'm knitting on size fives, I would put a four on my left hand needle, as long as you're going in the round, because then it just makes things go a little bit more smoothly. And I like to be done with things. <laughs> so now that I finally, and it wasn't even in one of my like six bags at home, it was in one of the bags here that I had tucked away. Um, now that I have this, I can get back to working on the sleeves. Diane bought one of those. Maybe need to find them. Yes. Mom, need a set in the fours to eights. I do stock both of these in the shop, the reds and the blues. So again, the reds are zeros to threes. If you're a sock knitter, you can do socks on these. If you like fingering weight, circular projects at all, whether it be um, sleeves on a sweater, fingerless mitts, socks, obviously. 
a tube scarf. Anything that you can do on a zero to three, any other kind of needle, you can do with this. Same with the fours to eights. So the, um, the red set is $119.99. The blue set is $129.99. But like I said, there's so much versatility in them. I do sell chow goo sets, tips, and cords individually. I don't sell the two inch and three inch tips individually, but in a pinch, you can use these tips on their longer cords anywhere from a, what do I have a 16 up to a 60, I think. This kind of goes back to putting a wish list together, calling the shop and telling us if you want us to put things on your wish list for loved ones that call in or come in. Um, I want to talk about the, the gift card sale too, but I did want to show that I'm working on the hood on this. So it's a lot of black. And now because it's a hood and it's going back and forth, it's a lot of knit a row, pearl a row, stockinette. But I'm getting there. I have body. I have part of sleeves and part of a hood. <laughs> Karen thought the other day that I might have this done um, by Victoria's birthday, but that's not going to happen. Not going to get done in the next three days. So um, gift certificate sale, the promotion is still going on. So for every $50 in um, gift certificates you purchase, you get a bonus $10 in fiber funds which is a bonus $10 to spend in January. There are a few limitations. Um, I, we can't use it on consignment things. That might be it pretty much. That is going to go for the rest of this week. The last day for that will be this coming Saturday. So if you have people in your life that you wanna give a strong hint to, <laughs> Make sure they come in or um, call the shop, message the shop. I try and get back with messages as quickly as I can this past week. I swear I was on the phone with one person and I'd get two voicemails in the meantime. And I'm just one person. Deb's here and Karen's here sometimes, but still. <laughs> uh, there's a lot to do around here, but I love it. I love it. I love it. So that will go through this Saturday, which will be the 11th. And if you're purchasing for yourself, you don't have to buy separate $50 gift certificates. So you can buy one $200 gift certificate and then you get $40 worth of fiber funds to spend in January. I've had people buying them as gifts for um, knitting groups, gifts for themselves, gifts for loved ones. Um, lots, of, lots of good ideas. Um, let's see. I was going to kind of review some of the items that I had on my cyber sale last week. Um, and I think I have so many ideas, I could just keep going with it. But I would say we are done now with the cyber sales. So if you had me holding boxes until we were done, um, I'll go ahead and start shipping those out this week. I don't know if I'll get to it tomorrow, but um, I'll start boxing those up and shipping them out. I do, they, they are still available. The sales are still available. I just, I'm not going to add anything new. The sales will go through this week also. So day one was the concentric um shawl that took the one ball of the 100 alpaca the 200 grams that's i still have a couple of those left they are if i have any left it's on the website as available um day two was the cascade reverb the 100 post-consumer recycled yarn i have some of that still I have a couple of the kits for the jean wrap, that 100% cotton four color wrap. I have a couple of those kits left. 
And I think I have a couple mugs left. Mom, I think you said you wanted one of the mugs, but I couldn't remember which one. So um, feel free to go back and look at the videos that I posted last week or um, and or on the website. They're kind of all over the place, but I do have the sale ones marked. Um, I'm not the greatest at making sure everything's in the right place on the website. <laughs> so I think that's it for this week. I talked about a lot. I talked about a lot of yarn and I have a huge pile of yarn in front of me. It, it took me a long time. A lot of you saw me post the picture of <laughs> the table full of yarn that I had um, last week but most of it is up on the wall, which you can tell it looks very, very full right now, which I love, I love it, I love it. Keeps going, keeps going. Look at that, it's a lot. It's a lot of sock yarn in a lot of colors, but that's, that's what I love. I just, I think, why not? Why not just have as much as possible? And I'm sorry, you guys, somehow I just closed out my feed so I can't see if anybody's commenting on anything. It's, you know, the story of my life. It's always something, I tell you what. <laughs> but that's it. It's almost eight o'clock. So I thank everybody for joining me tonight. Um, I hope you're inspired to come in, see the new yarns, feel the new yarns, because that's a big part of it is feeling things, especially this new alpaca silk cashmere. It's lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. We're here. I'll be in the shop Wednesday through Saturday or Wednesday through Friday. Deb will be here Saturday. Karen will be around. Um, I hope to see you or to chat with you on the phone. I hope you all have a great week and I will see you if not in the shop, I will see you all next Monday. Bye.